The automation interface is a tool that allows you to connect the programming languages listed on the left side of this chart with the TwinCAT 3 engineering environment. This way you can programmatically manipulate your configuration from your project using one of those languages. In this case here, I'm going to be using C Sharp. This is done via a very convenient API. And this API consists of level one and level two interfaces. The level one interfaces are the ITC Sys Manager and the ITC SM3 item. The ITC Sys Manager is a base class to create and parameterize a TwinCAT configuration, while the ITC SM3 item is a class that represents a tree item within your TwinCAT configuration. So with the ITC SM3 item, you can manipulate any of these items present in your configuration. The level two interfaces, they are helper classes to support the functionality of ITC's manager and ITC SM3 item. So with the ITC's manager, you can do things like create a new configuration, open a configuration, save it, activate. You can ask if TwinCat is online mode. You can restart TwinCat. You can link and unlink variables, get the target net ID, set target net ID. While with the ITC SM3 item, you can do things like produce and consume XML files, create, delete, import, and look up child. Let's create a new project. It's going to be a console application. I'm going to call it AI Backoff, AI for Automation Interface. And the first thing to do here is to add a class. Uh, it's a helper class uh, that Backoff sent me. Uh, this is going to help creating the communication between my C Sharp application and uh, the TwinCat environment. So I'm going to attach this uh, helper class to my repo so you guys can benefit from it. Next thing to do is go to your references and add MDTE from the assemblies tab. I'm just adding all of them. And then we're going to also need the TwinCat base XAE library. I'm using 3.3. All right, so we have our MDTEs as well as our TwinCat system manager library added to our references. So if we go to our main program, the next thing to do is to call those libraries here. So we're gonna call MDTE and uh, TwinCat system manager. On top of that, we're going to need uh, system.xml because at some point we're going to be saving our configuration as an XML file. And we're also going to need system.collections. Now we're going to be creating some objects here. I need a system manager, a DTE, a project, and a solution object. Now I'm pasting here this attached to existing DT function. This is a function that also came from Backoff and it references the helper class. Make sure that the namespace matches whatever you have in the helper class. And uh, this is the function that we're gonna be using to establish communication between the TwinCat environment and this C-sharp application. So let's define our arguments. We're going to have three arguments. The first one is going to be the path to our TwinCat solution. The second one is going to be the item that we're going to be looking for in our IO tree. And the third one is going to be the destination uh, to save our XML file that contains the configuration from the item that we obtained uh, with the lookup tree function. We're going to need first to create a DDE object attach the system manager to the DTE solution object, perform the lookup 
and then finally save the XML. So let's see how we can do it. The first thing to do is to create a DTE object. We're going to do that by calling the attach to existing DTE function. This function takes two parameters. The first one is the path to your TwinCat solution, and the second one is a string that informs what TwinCat environment you have. So in my case, I'm using uh, the TwinCat shell, but you could be using Visual Studio, for example, and depending on your version of Visual Studio, this string will change accordingly. Now we need to attach the system manager to the DTE solution object. We're going to do that by assigning to our solution variable SOL, the DTE, the solution from the DTE object. Attach the system manager to the DTE solution object. We're going to do that by getting the solution from the DTE object and assigning it to our solution variable SOL. Now, from our solution variable SOL, we can access projects. And we're gonna assign projects.item1 to our project variable pro. Now that we have access to the project, we can simply convert it into the ITC sysmanager11 format and assign it to sysmanager giving us the ability to access the Automation Interface API. Now that I have the ability to access the API through SysManager, I can simply assign the result of my search to an object of the ITC SM3 item class. And finally, I save the result of my search into an XML file. Here, I'm going to do it quick and dirty, so I'm going to call it from the main. Now we can build our solution so we can test it. Let's navigate into the exe file directory and copy this path. Open the CMD and CD into it. The reason why I want to do it this way is because we can do the same thing from back off meaning that you can possibly have an HMI triggering this process. Now typed AI backoff, and I have here a TXT file with my parameters. So the first one is the path for my solution. The second one is the device that I want to uh, look for. In my case, it's going to be this uh, EL7031. And finally, the path and the name that I want to save the description file. This is my project, stepper test, and here I'm looking to save the description of this EL7031 as an XML file. So now if I trigger this process, I get my 7031 description file. closing up uh, some of these files, and here it is. I can obtain the same result from TwinCat. Uh, here I made a mistake. If you try to save as the item like that, it's going to give you the uh, option to export this XTI file. This is going to be a different function from uh, automation interface. Uh, the right way to go about it here is going to TwinCat, selected item, and export XML. We're going to save this one as EL7031 TwinCat. Now I can open it and both files match. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. This has shown like a, a little bit of uh, automation interface and how you can use it to automate the configuration of your TwinCat projects.